Would you say that made you a better leader for your clients in the business that you're in, the financial service business, helping people? Absolutely, absolutely. Because it, I, what I've got before, and I, I, if I can quote uh, somebody, uh, Ed Milet, who has oh, a very right. yeah, a great quote that he always talks about, is that service is beneath you, then leadership is beyond you. So Wow. So as an advisor, my job is to serve my clients. I'm not looking to serve a company. Well, that's why in terms of what I, how I run my practice, I'm an independent advisor. I, I'm product agnostic, right? I don't have oh. a, an, an emotional or financial tie to any particular company. My dedication and my commitment is to my client's best interest. And so I want to serve them. And if I serve them, I become a leader. I become a leader, then that means that they're going to see me as an influencer in their home. And then what, what happens then? Then they'll be able to bring me over to some of their friends and family so I can continue that process of serving them as well. It's like they're the American people. Yes. And you're still in that war. Still. But still against only the average. average. It's against the average. Against, against a poverty mindset. And a mindset of limitation of saying, I'm not sure I'm going to make it to retirement. I'm not sure if I can get to my kids to college. And my answer is, yes, you can. Let's just put some discipline in place. Let's mm-hmm. put some plans in place mm-hmm. so we can get you to fulfill those obligations, to fulfill those goals, right? But we can do it together. We're going to grow together. Just like when I was in personal training. Yeah. I'm not going to have somebody that says, I want to do 100 push-ups. And I go, great, let's just do it today. No, 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 no. Let's start with five. Let's, let's look at your form. Let's see how many inches off, off, the, off the floor you are right now and then go from there. Right? And we're going to train you over time to build this tolerance because, look, putting away money away from the future, it's a discipline like anything else. It's like eating right. It's like eating right. It's a discipline daily, but oh, you're not going to just go zero carb day one and day two. By day three, guess what you're doing? You're eating three pizzas and a, and a, and a box of donuts to make up for the past three days, right? Yeah. Same thing here. Same thing. People, I think people take it, look at it such as a big obstacle to overcome that because there's so much to do, they go, ah, you know what? I might as well just put my head in the sand, forget about it, let, let, it, let the chips fall where they may, and if I get there, I get there.